we do not wish any unhappiness on you and your family. Also, you made a comment that seems like you might think we think less of the city of Harvey, and that is so far from the truth. You made a comment about the slums and the ghetto or something like that. Yes. We don't think less of Harvey. We want the best for Harvey. That is why when Harvey reached out to us about the stormwater management project, and we know you have flooding issues in the city, that is why we answered their call to help them with the stormwater management project and view the stormwater management project as a form of environmental justice because citizens of Harvey deserve protection, protection from flooding as well. So we do not think less of Harvey. We definitely want your family and all of the families in Harvey to be happy. And we can definitely communicate more about this after the meeting, definitely. And we'll be talking to the relocation specialist, which we have spoke to every week since we realized there were a group of people in Harvey that did not support the project. But from our understanding, the mayor of Harvey, your city council in Harvey, everyone asked for the pro they asked for the project, they voted on the project, and they asked us to assist them with the stormwater management project. And this is just me laying out what happened. So we'll move on to the next speaker right now. Our next speaker is Joe Poole. Joe Poole, can you please step to the microphone? Clearly state your name and spell your name. State your affiliation. And you have three minutes to address the board, and we welcome you. My name is Joe Poole. P O O L D. Poole. I'm, you know, I'm one of the oldest ones in that block here, and I'm, I've never had any water problems since I've been living in them two houses. I don't know about my neighbors. I can't speak for nobody but myself, but I have never had water problems. All the rain we have got. My problem Tell him, Joe. is moving at my age, and you know, it's rough, and I, you know, I'm probably the oldest one in this room, and you know. And mm -hmm. I don't have too much to say about that, but I, yeah, I work really hard for that. Tell him, Mr. Blue, tell him. And it's kind of rough at my age. And I'd like to see someone who at my age see what see what it's like to go through something like this. It ain't no laughing joy. No amount of money, you know, can help. I lost my wife, my son. Come on, tell And him. now, look like I'm going to lose my home. I grew up, my kids will grow up here. And it's really rough. <coughs> and uh, that's it. I thank you for letting me have the opportunity to speak, speak to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Paul. And